According to PC Gamer, a few things have been cut out from Cyberpunk 2077 since the alpha gameplay we saw two years ago. Wall running, customizing your vehicles, dual wielding weapons, and the flathead spider bot for techie class characters. Now real quick, before we get on with the video, let's start off with some impersonations. And y'all just tell me down in the comments who you think this is. You ready? Okay, here it goes. So this is what we gonna do, huh? We just gonna cut shit out of the game. So just between the alpha gameplay and the finished product, you just gonna cut shit out of the game. So that's what we do. We lying about what's gonna be in the game, CD Projekt Red, huh? So you just gonna cut shit out of the game because you developing it. Who's that? Did you figure it out? No? I got you. That's you! Well, us. That's what we sound like to the developers at CD Projekt Red. Apparently gameplay changes from the alpha to the actual release of a game. And according to Miles Toast, not every game is for everyone and they don't have the power to change that. Nor are they forcing us to buy the game day one, and no one at CDPR wants us to be disappointed with a game we might not enjoy. Well first I want to say, I disagree completely. When you got a game that looks like this, has guns, cars, and suggested sex scenes, you definitely want us to buy the game day one. Now because I'm fluent in the dialect of f*** your thoughts, what Miles is trying to say so nicely is, I'm Rick James, bitch. And y'all know you're gonna buy it anyway. Did you see my last project? That's what I thought, so shut your ass up. Now y'all know this game is supposed to be bigger than The Witcher 3, which as a scale was big both physically and had tons of DLC, and is one of the most critically acclaimed games of all time. So, it's fair to say that we could trust them, right? At least I think we can, although they did say that completing The Witcher 3 would take around 100 hours, when in actuality it took around 180 hours. Well, I'm not gonna lie, how they managed to miscount almost 100 extra hours I don't know. Either that statement was the equivalent to the reboot of the Fantastic Four, which was a complete miss, or they overestimated our capabilities as gamers. But either way, it's better that a game that enjoyable was much longer than expected instead of being much shorter than expected. All I'm saying is, it's not like they delayed it again. She was crazy. This shit is crazy. I don't understand what's going on over here at CD Projekt Red. You know, if that statement on how long it would take to complete The Witcher 3 was a complete miss, then I'm not even on the playing field. 0 for 4 for me. So obviously Cyberpunk did get pushed back again, this time from November 19th to December 10th. But seeing as how the game has already gone gold and this delay is mostly due to distribution purposes, we shouldn't be too worried. With that being said, CDPR, I gotta give you minus three points for cutting out wall running, minus four points for possible no car customization, minus 10 points for the three delays, and minus zero points for the no dual wielding, because that was never actually a thing. Since praying mantis blades were one weapon, not two, they just happened to be on both arms. Your final score, 83, which is way better than the Miles Morales upgrade path, because that, yeah, I still don't know what the hell that was.